Ryan Wagner was in his early 20s when, like so many young men, his life derailed. He became addicted to drugs. He was depressed. He also watched a lot of porn, and porn gave him the idea that he might, in fact, be a woman. So he consulted doctors, and very quickly they put him on estrogen, and that made his problems much worse. Brian Wagner no longer believes what his doctors told him. He does not identify as female. He is back to how he was born, a man, and he joins us tonight to explain what he went through. Brian, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Um, what, if you could just sum up the experience, I'm sure this is a three hour long conversation, but if you could sum up the experience, the amazing experience you had, how, how would you describe it? Well, uh, thank you for having me on, Tucker. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, like you said, um, when I was a young man, when I was in college about close to a decade ago, I um, was extremely alienated. I had a drug problem, uh, mainly crystal meth and other party drugs, and I went down a bizarre rabbit hole of online pornography, and I developed a, a sex fetish. Very embarrassing to say, but it's the truth. That's all right. And, yeah. um, I went to go see a, a therapist who specialized in uh, sex issues, and she told me that I was really a woman, and that she and I had the same brain, and that basically all my problems in life were because I was actually a woman in a man's body. Even though I had severe drug problems, I had mood disorders and other, you know, issues. I looked terrible when I went to go see this woman. I was underweight. I was paranoid out of my, ma my mind from using methamphetamines. And uh, none of that mattered. It was all about um, having me go to a clinic to get prescribed estrogen and medicine to prevent my body from making testosterone, which I took for many years. And um, I, my, all my problems got worse. Um, it didn't help me. It just added new problems. And I just feel like the therapist I went to go see was an activist who just so happened to practice therapy, too. And um, here in California, there's really nothing to protect people from it. Now it's even more, uh, quite frankly, crazy. It's um, you can just go into one of these informed cl consent clinics and you don't even need a therapist's letter anymore. And it's completely patient led. It's the only form of medicine that's patient led. So I just advocate for better safeguarding and high quality assessments because I want to help everyone whether you're D-trans right. or transgender I want everyone to have good health care and everyone to be protected and as it is now detransitioning I just feel like I'm uh, collateral damage for for a movement that I'm not even part of they completely ignore me and they don't want to hear these stories but my story is real, my pain is real, and yeah, it's a real thing. But I just thank God every single day of my life that I never had any plastic surgery. I took hormones and it messed me up. I had my facial hair removed, but I do think that I'll be able to bounce back from this. And the way I always um, describe it, Tucker, is I feel like once I got sober, I, I, I started to have actual gender dysphoria when people were treating me like a woman when I, I didn't before. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it was like leaving the twilight zone. You know, some of the better episodes of the twilight zone is when the protagonist leaves the twilight zone, but everyone else is still in it. But yeah, and I just, I feel like I've been harmed by this and I just wish that, you know, I don't want anyone else to experience what I experienced. So I'm out of the twilight zone and, you know, I'm a very happy and successful man and, um, you know, I just hope that my experience helps somebody. I, I, I don't even, that's one of the saddest stories I've heard in a long time. I don't have anything to add to it other than I hope you tell your story far and wide. I hope it's heard by a lot of people. I think you speak for many, and I'm grateful that you were willing to tell us your story. Brian, thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. From Tucker Carlson tonight.